Okay, thank you very much. So um, I'm presenting the results of a large trial of a new drug for prostate cancer called Radium-223. Uh, the trial was conducted in more than 150 hospitals throughout 19 countries, so I'm presenting it on their behalf. So um, if you can cast your mind back to your school chemistry lessons, you'll remember that radium is very similar to calcium. They're in the same group of the periodic table. And it's that similarity which leads targeting of radium to bone metastases. Because if you have an injection of calcium in the bloodstream, it goes to the skeleton, goes to the bones, and it particularly goes to areas of new bone formation, such as metastases from cancer. And the body handles radium precisely the same. So an injection of radium goes to bone metastases. But unlike calcium, radium is an alpha emitter. And alpha particles are highly damaging, very lethal, but they're also very, very short range. And so the, the rationale is, the theory is, that if you've got radium in your bone mineral, then any adjacent cells, any adjacent cancer cells, will be killed by the alpha particles but the more distant bone marrow cells are spared. And that's what this cartoon is meant to indicate. So you've got radium sitting in the bone mineral structure. S cells very, very close to it are killed by the highly lethal alpha particles, but more distant cells in the normal bone marrow are spared. So that's the theory. And this is the trial. It was called the Alsimka trial. It involved over 900 men all of whom had advanced prostate cancer with bone metastases. And they were randomly allocated either to receive radium or placebo in addition to best standard care. So they all received standard care for men with advanced prostate cancer and bone metastases. And in addition, they received six injections, one injection every four weeks, of either radium or placebo. It was a double-blind trial, so the patients didn't know, the doctors didn't know which they were getting. And here's the main result. So the main end point of the trial was overall survival. And treatment with radium was associated with a significant improvement in overall survival. Hazard ratio of 0.695 translates into an advantage of 30% in overall survival. This is the first drug that's targeted to bone metastases in prostate cancer to improve survival. So there are other bone-targeted drugs that are used in prostate cancer, but they help to minimise symptoms. They don't improve survival. So this is an important result. And the other side of the coin is the safety. And radium-223 was extremely well tolerated. One looks at the haematologic side effects because one's concerned about the possibility of bone marrow problems. But if you look at significant toxicity, so grade 3 or 4 toxicity, you can see that there is an effect. So in the placebo arm, you've got 1 or 2% significant hematologic toxicity. And in the radium arm, you've got 2 to 4%. So there is an effect, but it's pretty rare. And the only other side effect that is apparent from the trial is that there is an increased risk of mild diarrhoea and mild vomiting. But there's no difference in, in severe um, GI symptoms. So on the whole, the drug was extremely well tolerated. And so in summary, in men with advanced prostate cancer and bone metastases, radium-223 prolongs survival. I didn't show you the data, but it also prolongs the time to skeletal-related events. So when you've got bone metastases from prostate cancer, you're at risk of developing fractures, you're at risk of developing spinal cord compression, other complications. Uh, and those complications were delayed by treatment with radium. And then thirdly, it was extremely well tolerated. So in my opinion, radium-223, subject to regulatory approval, is likely to become a new standard treatment for men with advanced prostate cancer and bone metastases. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now we're going to take questions. Um, so. Uh...